and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have uh, two sort of combined recipes here. Uh, we're taking the pastry cream that we made a few weeks ago and we're doing a sweet volavant. Now we did some uh, savory volavants uh, a few weeks back, a couple months ago actually. And uh, so this is going to be a sweet version of that with our uh, vanilla buttercream. So here's our ingredients. We have some puff pastry, the vanilla buttercream, and we'll go into a little bit of detail about that later and what went wrong with it. Some fresh raspberries and some apricot jam that we're going to use to glaze. This is actually apricot raspberry jam uh, that we made. <laughs> we'll, uh, I'll put a card up here somewhere when we get to that part of the video. So first thing we're going to do is cut down the, or sorry, roll out the, uh, the pastry. This is our puff pastry and uh, we've done a recipe on this as well. Now this is store-bought, uh, as you can tell. And we're just going to roll that out a little bit thinner so that we can cut these nice thin small circles out of it. Now you're going to want two different uh, either cookie cutters or cutters or ring molds that are you know fairly sharp at the bottom. You want to flour them gently and we're going to cut uh, as many rings as we can out of our sheets here. You want an even number because then you're going to go through with a smaller cutter and cut out the middle of half of them. Now the reason is we want to build these up a little bit. We want to put uh, a, the ring on the outside of some of the the whole bases so that they have a little bit of uh, inside uh, separate from the outside and it puffs up around the outside. So we're going to take the whole ones. We're going to pop, uh, pop those onto a baking sheet. We've got this lined with a uh, silicone uh, pad. We're just going to give that a gentle little wash. And this, this is a um, milk and egg white wash. Really, really simple. And we're doing this for a couple of reasons. Number one, it gives it a nice texture on the outside. It also helps the ring that we're going to attach right now to the outside. It's going to help it sort of stick together. Uh, so we're just going to put this together for all of these rings. And this is why you're doing half because we want to put uh, the same, we want the same number of rings as we have uh, bottoms. And then we're also using those, uh, the insides to cover our uh, volavant. So we're using them as a little bit of a lid. And uh, we're just going to give everything a gentle little um, coating of that wash. Now we're also going to dock these. We're going to adjust the middles. We don't want them to puff up too much. We want the outsides to puff up more. So uh, just make sure everything's more or less level. Everything's got a little bit of space. And uh, this is going to go into the oven once it's all had that wash applied and all the middles have been docked. And when they look about like this, that's when they're ready. So you got the, they've puffed up nicely. Now some of the middles have puffed up more than we'd hoped. So if you want, you can just give them a little poke and they'll actually sink in the part that you, uh, that you pierce, uh, let some of that steam out. So we're going to take our, uh, apricot raspberry jam and we're going to strain that. We don't want any lumps or, you know, big chunks in there. So we're just going to run that through a pretty fine strainer. Now, if you're buying apricot jam from a store, you can probably just melt that in the microwave. It depends on, you know, what kind it is, but you can get that really, really clear kind. Uh, the, yeah, the one that doesn't have any lumps or is very, very, um, a clear sort of a jelly almost. And uh, just melt that. And we're just going to coat those nice fresh raspberries very delicately with this and then set them on a bowl or a plate. And we're just going to let those uh, sit in the fridge and let them set with that glaze on top. And they're nice and shiny like that. We're just going to let that you know, sit in the fridge for a while while our, um, our volavants are cooling. Now, we I talked about this at the end of the pastry cream episode. Our vanilla pastry cream did not quite set properly. And we're not sure why, probably because it was undercooked. Now, we went ahead with this anyway, and they were delicious. The texture was a little bit off, and you can see here what we're doing is just popping one of those little <laughs> lids on with the raspberry on top. You can bring back uh, runny pastry cream. You want to mix uh, about a tablespoon of uh, the starch you used with about a tablespoon or two of milk. Uh, mix those together. Put your pastry cream back on the heat. Add that starch slurry and uh, cook it again and for another three or four minutes until the egg yolks are completely cooked through and that will help everything. So, and that's it. These are delicious little bite-sized uh, desserty things. They're fantastic, especially if your uh, pastry cream doesn't run like ours does. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks again to our patrons on Patreon. Uh, we will put a link in the description below for that. And remember to love your food.